Jack of the Naturopath from New Zealand. Thank you for coming back. Pharmaceutical medications. Can they make you fat? Can they make you gain weight? This is a question I've been asked. Just check that microphone's on. Yep. Many times by people. Well, drugs are designed for one purpose, and that's basically to quell a symptom. Okay, is to get a symptom and then reduce the severity or intensity of the symptom. That's all they're designed for. In fact, what they do, they do well. But the problem is, it's not just the side effects they create, it's the toxicity. They toxify the body. And we're told to stay on these drugs for weeks, months, sometimes years on end. So we're slowly, slowly poisoning the body. And what we're also doing is we're sabotaging the systems inside the body, especially the liver and the kidneys. They get nailed with these pharmaceutical drugs. So these main organs that clean the bloodstream, that keep our systems you know, functioning well, that supply all our cells with nutrition, take waste away, okay, they get hammered by drugs. And of course that starts to affect the body in many different ways. Your metabolism starts changing. Many people gain weight on pharmaceutical medications. Many people experience fatigue, they experience insomnia, they're experiencing multiple symptoms. So of course they go back to the doctor and what do they get told? Oh, you need this drug and you need that drug and you need this drug. After all, you're on 10 drugs. So what do you do? Well, probably the baby boomers, my generation, are the last ones to really, I believe, fall for this pharmaceutical merry-go-round. You know, younger people now are starting to think of it differently. <clears throat> Many people are questioning whether these medications are really necessary. Even a guy my age, a 60-year-old guy my age, is generally on one or two drugs you know, at this age already. And by the time he's 70, he's on six to eight drugs. Okay? Is it any wonder that people get fat, they get sick, they get tired? You know? The thing is not to start on these medications in the first place. And if you're told you have to take this medication, get another opinion from some other doctor. Go somewhere else. Start to think to yourself, what am I doing that's contributing towards this health problem? Am I smoking? Am I eating crap food? Have I got crap relationships with people? What am I doing that's making me the way I am that requires these medications? Intelligent approach. Right? Especially if you want to live to see your grandkids, it's an intelligent approach. Especially if you want to live you know, 70s and 80s and, you know, God willing, in your 90s in great health, seeing your family. But you have to respect the laws of nature. And medical science and nature don't really seem to mix too well, do they? As I mentioned, when we got a guy at the helm telling you know, people he's taken antibiotics in a viral pandemic, I mean, how many people are looking up to this person thinking that this is the right decision? It's the wrong decision, okay? We don't need antibiotics. We don't need hydroxychloroquine. We just need to keep our immune systems in great shape and eat good food and understand the power of nature. You know, These bodies that we got are designed to live a long time and if we care for them, they'll live a long time. But when you start putting chemical co concoctions in every day, several times, and you wonder why you're gaining weight, don't wonder, okay? Wonder why you started on those medications in the first place. Take care out there.